All right. So, um, I don't know. It's been about two weeks, I think. Maybe a little longer. Um, God, I wonder, can you hear that? <laughs> It looks like you can hear that on my thing. I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> Let me turn it down and see if it actually... Oh, it's just the... Uh, I, thought, I thought that microphone was picking up my music. Um, all right, so, yeah. A couple weeks ago, Erica poured on one of these. Uh, she put it on a big board and uh this is uh what is that holographic cricket paper um very opalescent coloring and she saw a phone case um, i've seen it before i just never thought i don't know how could we make that this is how we can make it it looks like uh it's marble this stuff with white over it so I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of white and I'm gonna use white and clear and that's it. And I'm gonna use Quick Coat. Um, and all I did was just put this down on this stuff, cut it out, made the, uh, the piece a little bit bigger, peeled it off, put it on so that it have edges all the way around and just turned it over and then just cut it out so it's Nice and perfect. Um, we're going to use Quick Coat. And I know this looks really crazy because Quick Coat turns. But um, we're going to use this. And once you mix this together, uh, it turns clear. But it will yellow on you. So uh, that's why I'm, I'm using this just for this particular experiment. See if we can make it look like... Uh, like marble, kind of. Um, and if it turns out, what I'll do is I'll let this dry and then put a coat of art coat on it. So then uh, it'll be UV protectant so it won't turn yellow. Because we're, we're going to use all white. So let's do this. All right. You all know what that means. If I can find my arrow every time. Hit it. Let's not get that. That's not good. I like to put a little alcohol on a rag, have it next to me just in case this happens. Comes right off. All right, so I'm just gonna mix a little bit because obviously it's just, um, I would love to have this work and if it works, um, I'm going to do it on this big one in this video. If not, I'm not going to waste the time. This is more of an experiment than a project. So let's try this here. I'm just going to pour a little bit. And you always want to make sure you have everything ready. <laughs> your colors, your stir sticks, because you only have 15 minutes to work with this stuff. So let me look for some stir sticks. All right, so we got some stir sticks. Um, I'm going to put this in something else. When I'm ready... Hold on, let's put this side by side so I can kind of see. All right, that looks good. All right, I'm not gonna mix that yet. Where's my white? 
So, we'll mix that when. You know what? You can actually do that, can't you? I don't want to try that though. I thought I could just mix that and then have it mixed in, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, and I put a teeny bit more of, what is this? Hardener? Because when I scrape this out into here, not all of this is going to come out of this cup into that cup. So I put just a just enough to hopefully it'll make up the difference. So white, clear. I think what I'm going to do is put a light a light base of clear down, and then just kind of. Uh, make like some striations with the uh, white and then probably take this and kind of make some marble looking lines that's the plan <laughs> but you know how the plan always ends up so let's do this See, you got some in there that's just not going to come out. So I'm going to stir this up. You don't have very long to stir. Try not to stir it too vigorously, or you get those little bubbles that come out. You don't want to. You don't want to inhale those little guys. If you wanted, you could use a mask with this. Um, this does have a slight odor, a quick coat. I think this is going to be good. This, like I said, you don't have a lot of time to mix. So, and it's better if you get if you're making colors with this quick coat to get it out into something other than what it's been mixed in because then that way there's not a lot that's just sitting in a cup basically your pot life uh, is a lot longer if you uh, get it out onto your surface or into another cup All right, so we're gonna mix a little bit of white in here. All right, let's see what we've got here. All right, I'm just gonna do like I said. <laughs> We're just going to do some Alright, let's try this Like I would try to pull or push where there's clear so that clear, you can also take, is this clear? You can also take your clear and put it down and it'll separate where the white is. Yeah, I probably put way too much white. But you see how I put that clear down and it separates. Well, that's kind of fun. Bring this guy over here. And the more heat you use on this, the, the quicker time as well. That's fun. Let's try to separate this a little bit more. I'm gonna put some heat where there's just resin. It's 
so white. Yeah, I put way too much white. <laughs> I'm trying to separate it. If you hit those parts with the clear, you can get a little bit. You can see that smoking. And I'm not sure if this stuff will burn underneath. Try to get some of this white off here. There you go. Get some streaks in there. That's fun. There we go. And just keep turning it so that you get it even. Nice even coat. And if you notice any edges, just pick it up off your table. All right, now we just sit and wait. <laughs> I did quick coat so it's so it it uh, sets up a lot faster. Um, it doesn't move, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't think. I don't think I need to do it on the big one there. You just have to use very limited white. Because it definitely... Just really, I guess it would be th thicker white and uh, just leave it. Just pour it on and just leave it. Don't, don't, uh, you could do the white first, pour your white lines on first, random, kind of lightly, and then pour where there's no white with your clear and that might leave it separated. I think the more that I do that, the cloudier it's going to get. Yeah, I think the white just kind of washed out. I'm sorry, the clear washed out the white. So Maybe if you did the white first, left some areas where the holographic paper can see through. Who knows? But it's still a good looking coaster. <laughs> I don't hate it. I think that's cool. I think nice little short video of how to make a fun little coaster. Looks very mermaidy. And seeing at this point um, with Quick Coat, you could probably push that out of the way. get you some lines in there you might have to do a, a flood coat which remember at the first you probably are going to want to because this will turn uh, yellow after a while there you go a fun little coaster You guys rock. Thanks for watching. See y'all later. Ba-boom.